Hey guys, today on Cards TV, I'm going to show you how to make this cute little double point Valentine card. This is Mary, and I'm so glad you could join me today because we're going to make this double point fold valentine card and i wanted to use something besides red pink and black and purple because <laughs> this one's going to be for wayne but don't tell him so i decided to use some white some green and i've got a little bit of navy blue on here now these really pretty papers came from the close to my heart January February catalog and this is called the mix in paper pack we use this one right here which is this green with the stripe that reminds me a lot of the thorns or the stickers on the cactus and then we use this one right down here which I thought went really well with that darker green now for my cute little cactus I used this set from Close to My Heart that I got last year. It's called Sticky Notes, and I don't think this one is still available, guys. I'm sorry for using it, but I never did get to, and I really wanted to use it on this card. But I'm sure you can find some cactuses in your Cricut cartridges or Cricut Design Space, or you may have some other stamps with cactuses. I've seen lots of them out there. But... I use this cactus right here for this card. The card we're going to make today, we're going to be using this cactus and this flower. And for both of them, I used Stuck on You. I stamped them with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And let me show you the cardstock I used. This is Spectrum Noir, 100 pound cardstock it's got a smooth finish and it works great when you're using spectrum nor markers it helps them blend really well and i did use my spectrum nor tri blend markers on this this is the jade green blend which is jg1 jg2 and jg3 so if you don't have the tri blends you can use these in the regular spectrum nor markers for the base of our card, we'll need one piece of cardstock cut at four and a quarter by five and a half. This is not folded, it's just one flat piece. And I use navy blue for the next mat, and this is four by five and a quarter. I just wanted to have something to make this pop, and that navy blue just seemed to do it. So, like I said, this is four by five and a quarter, and then this white and green pattern paper is three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. Before I adhere this to the white card base, I have to go ahead and make and attach the little triangle flaps that go at the top and the bottom. So you can see I've already got the light green and white adhered to the navy blue. I'm going to set this aside and I've got two pieces of that green stripe and these are three inches by four inches. Now on this side, the three inch side, I'm going to score each of them at one inch. Then I'm going to go ahead and fold this and use my bone folder to get a nice sharp crease. And this is what's going to make the little pointed fronts. Now you can see the crease right there where I folded that. We're going to take both of these corners one at a time and bring them up to that fold line and that's going to form the little triangular flap that's going at the top and the bottom of our card. You want to try your best to get these to meet right there in the center so they'll have a nice point. And I go over all of it several times 
to get nice creases on here because we want these to lay flat. Before we attach these to the front part of our card, we're going to take some art glitter glue and just come right in here and glue these little flaps down so they'll stay flat and secure once we put them on the card. Now we're ready to get our flaps attached to the top of our card base. Just like that. So we're going to put some art glitter glue right in here. And we're going to put one of these at the top and one at the bottom. And we want to line up those edges and those corners. And once again, we're going to take our bone folder make sure everything is nice and flat. We're going to do the same thing to our bottom flap. I went ahead and cut a white mat for my inside sentiment and I stamped it Happy Valentine's Day and this is two and three quarters by four and an eighth. Now I cut another white mat for the front, which is also two and three quarters by four and one eighth. I cut a green mat. This is two and a quarter by three and three quarters, which is going to go on just like that. And then here is my other little mat where I stamped my other cute little cactus with the flower on top. And it also says stuck on you. And this one is one and a half by three inches. I'm going to glue that on there. So I'll get my art glitter glue and get all these attached. And then we'll get it attached to the top flap on our card. I like to just put some art glitter glue directly on the flap rather than putting it on here. And then I know I'm not going to get it too far over and have problems with my flap sticking down. And we're going to take this and line it up so it's even on the sides, the top and the bottom. And then just go ahead and press that down. And I'm going to take my bone folder once again and go over all those creases. And there we go. You can see on the inside, it is stuck down. I'm going to go over it there too. And here is my second double point fold card. And I don't know which one I'm going to give to Wayne. Probably this one. But I like this one with that little pop of yellow on the top. So we've got stuck on you. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, guys, and I hope you'll give this card a try. It's super easy and so much fun to make, and it makes a great presentation. Thank you again for coming by today, everybody. Have an awesome day, and I will see you again soon with another card. Bye now.